Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Welcome back to Sea Explorers Marine Camp. Uh, in past sessions, we've done crustacean exploration and stormwater superheroes. This week we're studying uh, Long Island invasive species and alien species. Now to be invasive, does that sound like a good thing or a bad thing? Yeah. It's a bad thing, right? Well, native species are the ones that occur here naturally. Um, they've always been in this ecosystem. They've never been anywhere else. They've just always developed here and adapted to this environment. Um, invasive species were from other places and were introduced here intentionally or unintentionally and they cause a lot of problems with the native species. When they're first introduced there's no predators here to limit their population growth. They have a really easy time adjusting to like the temperature or the rainfall or the humidity. All those different factors that come into play um, help them adapt to a certain area. And when there's no predators there's nothing stopping them from increasing. Well, these are very tiny crabs, like you'll see when Jess walks around with them. Well, the first one we showed them was the Asian shore crab, and that one's from Asia. It came here in the ballast water of ships. And so when it was introduced here, it started competing with the blue claw crab, which is the native species. And so they're very aggressive creatures, and so they outcompeted the blue claw crab. And there's also zebra mussels. They are more common around Central America, but they are in this area occasionally. Um, they've come here in the ballast water of ships also, and they do very well here, so they're a danger to the native species. All right, so Phragmites, like you guys all heard everybody say before, it's from Europe. You guys know that short green grass outside by the salt marsh? That's called Spartina, and that grass belongs in the salt marsh. A lot of times, especially with the Phragmites, which um, are a lot of them are here, they're not, there's no predators that eat the Phragmites, nothing really uses them, so they're kind of useless and they grow like crazy and they're taking over areas that, you know, are useful to us like the salt marsh, which is like a filter and a sponge for us. So we're going to actually get to go show them how most of the salt marsh is Spartina, but the Phragmites are slowly but surely taking over and, you know, getting really tall and thriving here. A lot of times we also have a lot of invasive species that end up entering our environment by way of people just releasing pets into the wild uh, that normally wouldn't be here. So they end up invading and taking over and competing in our environment for animals that should be here, our native species. If you do have a pet that you maybe bought and you don't want anymore, you can, the pet store would be glad to take that back. So bring it to a pet store, bring it to um, any wildlife you know, rescue service, they'll be happy to take it from you. So anything is better than bringing it to the wild, not only because it can become invasive, but because a lot of pets, they're used to you feeding them. So even putting it in the wild is not the greatest thing. They probably can't survive. 